Just today, in a single day, in 24 hours, Bonk went up by 100%. It doubled in a single day. And if you want to be slow, then you're following channels like this, like Crypto or Us that talked about this 41 minutes ago. If you want to be fast though, then maybe check out the history here. On the 20th of November was the first time we talked about Bonk. The price had five zeros followed by a four. Now the price only has four zeros, starts with a two. This is where we talked about the first time on this channel. So maybe think about where you actually get your information from. Now this is not your typical YouTube Schiller channel. This is not a channel that simply just tries to buy you into some random crap coin. This is a channel that looks at data and tries to estimate how long can a potential rally last. How quick is the number of holders growing? How much trading volume is there currently? Is the market hyper hyper heated and is it getting dangerous? How much potential upside is there still? Let's do a very simple exercise first. How big is Bonk? Bonk is now at place number 51 in terms of market cap. It finally entered the top 100. We are at 1.5 billion and that's already almost three times the size of the Pepe meme coin. I've got the impression that some of the approaches that Bonk takes have been inspired by Shiba Inu, as in building a whole ecosystem, building an own decentralized exchange, etc. Shiba Inu right now is at number 18 in terms of market cap. It's got roughly 6 billion, so it's still four times larger than Bonk. This already gives us a rough estimate of how far this can further go, right? If Bonk was to make another 4x from here, it would be in the top 20 cryptocurrencies and it would be beating out on Shiba Inu. Now let's have a look at current activity. Is trading volume already super hyped? I think the answer is no. In the last 24 hours, trading volume was roughly one third of market cap, which I think is comparatively low given this massive, massive rise. Of course, Bitcoin has maybe a trading volume of like three, four percent of all of the market cap every day. A meme coin in general tends to have more. Having a third of the market cap is still a lot, but not necessarily given that the price has doubled in 24 hours. What's also interesting is the rise of Bonk Swap, or as how much capital is currently being locked up in the decentralized Bonk Swap exchange. This is going up quite steeply. This is in Solana tokens. We can also see simply just in US dollar inflows that this is very, very positive now on most days. The number of holders on the Solana chain is of course growing, but the growth isn't necessarily accelerating. It's relatively constant. That's this chart over here. It's the number of holders in the last 14 days. We were at 4,000 roughly at the end of November. Now we are more than 20x of that, 87,000. But it's not like in the last few days, this grew way, way quicker than say a week ago. What did grow a lot though, is the transaction fees that really had a spike in those last 24 hours. People really jump on this token now. And again, looking at those numbers, it's not necessarily that the number of holders is increasing. It seems to be that the people that already hold Bonk might be doubling down on their current position simply because it's run so well. Now the main token of Bonk is on the Solana chain, but there are also ported versions on the Binance Smart Chain and on Ethereum. And I built a tool, especially for EVM compatible chains to look at holder distribution based on different holder sizes. So I can look at those tokens and I can say, are the whales currently buying or are they selling? Is retail currently buying or currently selling? I can't do this for Solana, unfortunately, but I can do this for the EVM compatible chains, for Ethereum and for the Binance Smart Chain. So let's have a look at that. This is the result on the Ethereum chain. On the left side, we've got the number of holders that hold at least $10 worth of the token. In the middle, we've got the number of holders that hold at least $1,000 worth of the token. On the right side, we've got the whales with at least $100,000 worth of the token. Again, this is the Ethereum chain. Here we've got the equivalent on the Binance Smart Chain. $10, $1,000, $100,000. The number of small retail went from 400 to 6,400. So a 16x. For the medium sized holders, it went from 200 to a bit over 2000. So just a 10 to 11x. For the whales, it went from 2 to 10. So just a 5x. The same can be seen on the Binance Smart Chain. 5x for the small holders, a 40% increase only for the medium sized holders. And for the whales, we don't get proper data. So what does that mean? There's purchases on all fronts, independent of wallet size, 
but the main purchases are being done by the small guys. This is a retail driven rally. This is not big whales front running the small guys. It's not deep pockets dumping on the small guys. The deep pockets are also buying. And so the thing that will stop this rally probably is simply when not enough new retail people are joining. But right now the excitement for crypto is strong. Still, this rally can't last forever, right? It's another 6x to Shiba Inu. And I'm not sure how much further it can grow from there. If it's your first time here, feel free to subscribe. I publish videos regularly. A like would be very much appreciated as well. It helps the channel grow. There's also a free Telegram channel. Link is down below.